Ghost of the Wars first trailer premiered, and as expected, fans are really, really hyped for the upcoming film. Now, admittedly, I am too, but I didn't see Age of Ultron or Ant-Man, so I'm completely in the dark as to what transpired that may have caused the Iron Man to be pro-registration in the film. See, in the comics, Iron Man's motivation for being pro-registration was he saw the changing landscape and the government's laws and decided it was too big for him and the Avengers and pretty much every metahuman to fight. Captain America, of course, was against this as he stood for the rights and liberties of every mutant and metahuman born in America. Now I understand that I am going to have to see Ant-Man and Anne in Age of Ultron to get a greater idea of what caused all of this. This but until I do, I'm just going to sit back and wait until we get more information about the upcoming film. Regardless, I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot of fun. I'm Demonic Grimton, and thanks for spending time in my corner. P.S. No, I'm not done. There's still more Civil War videos to come.